pretty impactful the freshman year. What have you seen it grow really since then? What have you most worked on in the offseason? Yeah, I mean, I, I've really been working on a lot, you know, just on my hand to be able to create shots, right? and not just necessarily catch and shoot, but just straight line drives. Um, you know, this summer I kind of had a trainer for the first time. Uh, that's what, that was working with me a lot, you know, every, every almost basically day to day. And, you know, that really helped me kind of push my game a little bit in that aspect. Uh, but also just my body, really, honestly, just getting faster and stronger. And, you know, kind of working on that was something huge that I really, really knew I needed to get better at. And, Obviously, it kind of showed throughout the year. It got better as the year went on, but you know, the, I feel like I made a jump. Okay. So, what have you kind of seen about uh, from some of these freshmen? Any kind of like impactful moments, days, or just as a whole? Yeah, the whole the whole freshman class. I mean, they they just compete. Honestly, um, I've never seen a group of guys want to come in so early and, and not be timid. You know, I mean, even when I came in, you know, I feel like I, I wasn't very timid at all. But you know, these guys really have a different energy about them. And, they, they come in every day and they work and they grind. I mean, they're diving on the floor, they're, they're hustling all over the place, and they can also create and, and make shots and play basketball. And so they're, they're, they're a pretty solid class. I'm really excited to see what they do here. Connor, going off that, I'm just curious what your impressions are, particularly of the big men freshmen, you know, Nolan and Gus. There's a lot of talk about how it takes time to adjust as a big man in this league. Just what have you seen from them and how early do you think they'll be ready to contribute? Yeah, you can definitely tell. You know, it always is the same way. You know, bringing people in, you know, for the first time, and you can tell there's little learning moments and stuff. But, but their strides already from from when they first got here to summer to now is unbelievable. I mean, they're they're already starting to be more physical. They're starting to you know, kind of understand the feel, the pace of kind of how the big guys work, and especially having you know, such a great big guy as we have with Steve and the guys down low, it really helps to to be able to challenge them every single day. So I feel like they're definitely will be a really huge impact. You know, last year it seemed like you guys at times maybe lived into Ivy with three-point shooting a little bit. Now it seems like the roster is again constructed, especially you bring in a guy like AJ, who's a 40% three-point shooter. Do you think that's going to unfold in a similar way this year? Uh, you know, I feel like we'll be more more diverse, you know, just being able to, to do different things with the basketball, you know. I feel like, you know, bringing AJ in, it kind of helps us space the floor a little bit more and be able to, you know, kind of go inside more and then space our shooters. So it just kind of all, like, blends and meshes together. But, you know, I feel like there's definitely going to be games where even if we're actually shooting the ball well, we'll still be able to find a way to score. Obviously, you guys brought back so much from last year. What do you feel like has kind of been... You know, the message, right? What do you guys have been kind of most keyed on in, in the offseason? Why do you think this group could be special this year? Yeah, I mean, it's really just just working. Like, I mean, we know we know what we got in the locker room. We know what we got, you know, on the court. And so I feel like we, we've just been competing every single day, and it's kind of been elevating everybody's games. And so, I mean, our, our goal is here to win championships. And so that's, that's how we've been practicing. That's how we're looking out. Uh, and that's everybody's mindset. And, you know, even like when you were a kid, high school, or even right now, you know, when you're looking to get better, any NBA players that you especially like to kind of watch and learn from the team? It's kind of funny. Tyler Hero is a guy that I like to watch a lot. Um, uh, it's funny, obviously, for reasons. But, you know, it, it's just I feel like just the way he plays basketball, the way he moves without the ball, but also the way he's able to create and just his understanding of the game. You know, and just the smoothness that he's got. You know, it's something that, that you know, I kind of watch film on that just to kind of model the game. And then just last, last one for me. What are you most excited about this season? And are there any games in particular that you really like? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited just to kind of get this thing, the ball rolling a little bit. You know, I feel like there's a lot of energy in the locker room, you know, in, in here, just in Madison and in the state, you know, for this team. And I'm really excited for it. But, you know, I feel like one of the games I'm really looking forward to is going, going to play at Mackey. Um, that, that's a gym that I, I've never even been in, um, being from Indiana. So I'm excited to go there and see what it's all about. Appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you so much. Connor, I'm curious. I know this can be a loaded question at times, but I'm curious if there's one, one or two guys that have stood out to you this offseason, maybe you've seen them take a leap or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, Chucky's definitely made a big, big leap. You know, even though last year he was already a great player for us. And, but, you know, kind of his leadership that he's kind of, you know, taken upon himself to, to, you know, be able to get better and also to lead us, you know, now being you know, an upperclassman has, has been huge. You know, I lo love what he's been doing so far um, and just the leadership that he's definitely taken. And then honestly, I mean, I could really say all the freshmen too. They, they've really came in and they've really started to work right away and really shown strides from day one. And you mentioned how, a couple questions ago, you mentioned how, this offense could be a little more diverse, uh, especially with AJ in the mix now. Can you just elaborate on that and you know kind of describe how you think the offense can mix it up? Yeah, I mean we got we got guys that have gotten better at being able to get to the lane. Um, we 
you got you know guys that, that are a little bit more athletic that are able to you know kind of space things out. Um, our shooters have all gotten better. Our big guys have gotten better. So now I feel like we kind of have you know like a triple threat that's able to, to kind of attack. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it.